Halloween is right around the corner, so I couldn't go without making a video highlighting some of the best horror games on Nintendo Switch. However, the Switch doesn't really have a large catalog of horror games. So for this list, I decided to include games that are just spooky or dark themed titles that match the Halloween setting. So without further ado, here's the 10 best horror games on Switch, including some spooky titles and some dark themed titles as well. If creepy witches are your style, then Don't Knock Twice just might be what you're looking for. And no, this witch isn't anything like Winfred or the other Sanderson sisters of Hocus Pocus. She's ghastly and literally the stuff of nightmares. Summoned by some kids during a ritual, the demonic witch takes your daughter, and you must embark on a terrifying adventure to rescue her. Don't Knock Twice immerses you into a first-person view while setting out to provide juicy story bits through journals, notes, and items scattered throughout the house. Unfortunately, the game launched with some pretty horrendous frame rate, but luckily the game has been patched since it launched and perhaps may run a bit smoother now. Now like I said, these aren't all technically horror titles, and this next one strays really far from that, but it also has a dark and brooding setting, so I had to include it in this list. While not technically a horror title, its setting alone was enough for me to put it on this list. This classic reboot of the first-person shooter series fits perfectly into the horror-adjacent category. The Doom reboot actually sheds the survival horror elements of its predecessor, Doom 3, and instead it offers a visceral, fast-paced, run-and-gun experience set to the beat of a heavy metal soundtrack. Despite the frenetic pacing, Doom still contains buckets of blood and gore, as you, the Doom Slayer, brutalize, dismember, and tear demonic forces of hell limb from limb. But make no mistake, obliterating the invading army of terrifying demons is no cakewalk. Every gun, ammo pack, armor shard, and suit upgrade you so that you can be more vicious in beating back the hellish invasion of Mars. While the Resident Evil series did back away from the horror genre for a while, I'm happy the Revelations games did dabble in it a little bit. Resident Evil is one of the franchises that effectively established the horror genre in gaming as we know it. Now, Capcom offers Switch fans a taste of that world with Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2. Revelations is a third-person game that takes place between Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5. The game follows agents from the counter-terrorism unit known as the BSAA. Notably, a series favorite, Jill Valentine, returns to action to combat another viral threat that turns infected into bloodthirsty monsters. Resident Evil Revelations 2 occurs in between Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. Claire Redfield makes a return to the series. Additionally, Barry Burton, who first appeared in the original Resident Evil, joins Claire as a playable character. This game sought to enhance the horror and tension through frequent stealth gameplay. Also, both Claire and Barry have partners new to the story. The game tasks players with switching between partners to utilize each of the character's strengths in order to progress. Both Resident Evil Revelations titles were received well, as Capcom sought to emphasize the series' horror into the roots of these games. Now this next game is a full-on horror title that you have to play. Outlast is a markedly horrific tale that puts players in the shoes of a journalist who receives a tip that unethical experiments are being conducted at an asylum by an evil company known as the Murkoff Corporation. Outlast's eerie setting is truly atmospheric with startling sound cues and frightening psychotic chatter from the inmates wandering the halls. Playing in first person view, players must make use of the video camera for night vision in dark areas. When spotted, you must quickly flee and hide under a bed, in a closet, or behind any object object that the creepy assailant might not think to look. There's no combating enemies, you must run to survive, and in that itself is truly terrifying. The sequel, Outlast 2, once again features a journalist as the protagonist. After narrowly surviving a helicopter crash, the protagonist is separated from his wife and must find a way to survive as he makes his way through a remote village populated with a cult willing to commit all manner of atrocities for the sake of their beliefs. Outlast 2 is grisly and will surely leave you unsettled as you witness the horror of being hunted by people ready to murder, dismember, and sacrifice just about anyone. I also want to make a quick note that Outlast 2 is without a doubt one of the best looking games on Nintendo Switch that uses a realistic art direction. It constantly had me impressed, and you can check out our full video review that I'll link at the end of this video. Backing off of the scary spookies for a while, I wanted to talk about a game that focuses more on narrative, choice making, and storytelling. If you haven't played Telltale's The Walking Dead, do yourself a favor and pick this title up. 
As with most Telltale games, this story-driven adventure features the dramatic tale of two strangers, a man named Lee Everett and a young girl who has lost her parents during the outbreak of a zombie apocalypse. And as I'm sure a lot of you know, her name is Clementine. Over the course of the story, players must make choices on how to survive and how to handle interactions and relationships with characters as the duo journeys to find safety. For those unfamiliar with Telltale games, it essentially plays like an interactive film, and this story of season one in particular is deep and engaging that will constantly leave you wanting more. Do you love demons, ghosts, goblins, and all of that junk? Then you're gonna love this next game. Victor Vran Overkill Edition was recently released on the Nintendo Switch. This hack and slash RPG title follows the titular character Victor Vran as he haunts demons in the city of Zagoravia. I hope I pronounced that right. Players have access to a myriad of weapons, consumables, and magical options for destroying the supernatural waves of enemies that plague the gothic-themed title. If you're a fan of Diablo, then you might want to check this game out, as it plays similar in fashion. Explore dungeons, gather loot, equip all manner of melee and firearm weaponry, and destroy the otherworldly forces that spawn against you. While this title isn't specifically horror, its themes certainly fit with the horror genre and the Halloween season. Now this next one might leave you sleeping with a nightlight on. Layers of Fear Legacy is a psychological horror game. It follows a rather disturbed painter in his quest to complete his masterpiece. Following a trend of this list, the game is played in first-person view as players explore the Victorian mansion in search of clues as to how to complete his masterpiece. Much of the game involves the players exploring and completing puzzles, and you must utilize your surroundings as you search for solutions to the puzzles presented. Progression through Layers of Fear reveals more about the protagonist. If you're looking for a slower-paced game with an intriguing story, Layers of Fear Legacy might be for you. I had to save the most unique game on this list for last. Perception offers a thrilling spin on the first-person survival horror genre. From the developer The Deep End Games comes a horror adventure and an entirely unique perception as the title obviously alludes to. Players take the role of Cassie, a blind woman who can navigate using echolocation with the tapping of her cane, and other sounds through the environment such as wind can be seen. Players must avoid creating too much noise to avoid being killed by something rather creepy and supernatural. Be sure to check out Perception if you're looking for something more original in the horror genre. Thanks a lot for watching guys, be sure to let me know your favorite scary or spooky or dark styled games on Nintendo Switch down in the comments. What did I forget? What did I leave out? Let me know. This has been the 10 best horror games on Switch, but like I said, they're not really all horror games, but I did the best I could. So let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm Brett Medlock and I will talk to you guys later.